But uh, let me take a step back, right? <laughs> we talk like all about like severe cases, depression, anxiety, suicides. Uh, but even if a normal person uh, on a day-to-day -day life might be going through stress, uh, might be going through some, some tough situations, it all happens in everybody's life. Uh, so how can one differentiate that this is a regular problem, the regular stress, I need to have a good coping mechanism to deal with it, versus now I have crossed the line, I need to seek a medical help or a spiritual help. So, I mean, uh, let me go to your question. question. So, in, if you look at, um, so in psychiatry, there's a book called DSM-5, Diagnostic Statistic Manual. So, um, so it's kind of like the book that you go by, um, that kind of gives you a guideline if you have a disorder, right? Mm -hmm. So, in the guidelines, uh, the key thing is, yes, you have those symptoms. When you have any symptoms, it has, when those symptoms would affect you two or more areas of your life. Like it could be your home life, work life, um, school life. Any, if it's affecting in two more of your areas of your life and you have those symptoms, that's definitely uh, up. like, yes, you need to go seek professional help. So, but if you're just having like an acute moment in your life, your stressors, and then you're able to resolve it, and then you moved on with normal life, if functioning is normal, then you're okay. But then if your functioning does decreases, and, and not only decreases for that moment in your life, but over a period of time. So some disorders, you need at least two weeks period of time. Some you need six months. It depends on what disorder you're looking at. So it's consistency, your functioning is decreasing, and you're maintaining those uh, dysfunctional uh, symptoms, then yes, you definitely need to come seek out help. But if you like normal weight stuff, yeah, you're okay.